So let's look at creating a new brush as a smoke brush, as it were, using the likes of uh, generative fill within uh, Photoshop. So uh, what I've done here is basically created this brush, as you can see, uh, let me just uh, X to put Y on top here. Um, and I've created it from what? I've created it from a, a generative fill layer. Okay, so let's quickly delete all of these and just show you how, how to do it. So I've just created a canvas size. So uh, in the image and the cam uh, the canvas size or the image size, you can see I'm, I'm below 2000 pixels here, uh, which is key for kind of creating a brush in a minute. Let's press OK. Next thing I want to do is just pick up the lasso tool and let's kind of just make a shape that we want to kind of create the smoke to go into. As soon as I make a selection, of course, generative fill option comes up here. If I click into generative fill and I go to smoke cloud, and I just went into generate. And then obviously uh, at this stage, we're in November 23 and it's technically charging us for uh, our kind of uh, creation using generative fill etc and so on with it but again we can kind of uh, click a variety here and i definitely go through creating a variety when you're doing this technique because in in a matter of kind of five or ten minutes you could create yourself you know a whole range of different brushes and things really so uh let's choose one of them let's choose this one here i don't mind they're all new you kind of uh just clicking through them Let's do that one. It's got more shape and everything else with it. Okay, so that's our kind of key one. Uh, now I want to basically uh, make it into black and white. So I'm just going to click into the half moon, um, which is giving us our options here to kind of put in a gradient map layer, adjustment layer. And uh, what we do want is basically white background with black smoke. Okay, so hence black on top, white underneath, which is good. And from here, we then need to create a, a a bit more of a contrast. So we can either go into Control L for levels, or we can actually do another uh, adjustment layer. Let's go into levels, and basically, we want to blacken the con the contrast more, whiten the white, without a doubt. We want some information within the actual uh, cloud itself. Okay. So once we've done that, we're pretty much ready to create ourselves a defined brush. Um, what you'll find though is if you try and do it from here, if you go into edit and define brush, it's going to be uh, grayed out. And the reason being is that you're on an adjustment layer. Just simply click on to your um, uh, layer here with the clouds from generative fill. And then you just go into the edit and define brush pre preset. And then we can actually do a uh, smoke cloud. Um, H1 horizontal one, just press OK. And uh, now you can see what it's done. It's created straight away. So first of all, I'm just going to group these, uh, Control G, just to group those. I just shift click them. And let's go in and basically add a cloud onto this layer now. So if I just click on a new layer and I click onto it, you can't see anything because, of course, the group is still switched on, Mark. Um, but basically, if I put it on, say, 30%, just pressing 3 on the keyboard, uh, you can see what it's doing here. If I press 7 on the keyboard, it's going to give us more of a cloud. And if we kind of go in here, it's doing exactly what we want. We wanted to do. And of course, one of the great things on this is that we could use it as a, a, a kind of a, a masking tool as well. Remember what we're doing was we're changing the opacity um, just by pressing a number on the keyboard. So 2 is 20%, 5 is 50%, 2, 5 is 25%, 0 is 100%. So uh, again, that's how we did it. So the good news about that, of course, it was so fast and we've already got these other uh, generative fills that we could go in and say, well, what's that one? Let's make one from this same effect. There we go, let's do that one. All I need to do now, of course, is immediately, because I've kind of got the adjustment layers here, I can just go straight in and uh, define a brush straight away. So this is uh, Smoke Cloud H2. Press OK. Let's just switch off this layer. We'll just create a, 
um, a new selection. So let's do a vertical one now. And we'll go to Smoke Cloud. You could obviously try different uh, words to actually come up with different effects. The waiting game. There we go. Pretty cool straight out of the block. What's that one like? I quite like this this one. So let's do the exactly the same again. Edit to find brush. Cloud vertical uh, smoke cloud, I should say, Mark. V1. Just press OK. Let's say we want another one again. Let's hit generative fill once more. See if there's any better op options. But I would definitely go in and... S oh, I love that one. Okay, so let's make that one anyway. So once more, let's just go into straight away, edit, define brush. And that would be smoke cloud, V2. And then they'll basically appear up into our brushes. So if we look down here, I've got loads of brushes anyway. But that's our smoke too. So if we come back onto the top, let's switch off that group, switch back on here. Let's uh, control A and we'll just delete that. Straight away, we'll just delete it down there. And then we'll hit our new layer and then we'll just go in and kind of move it above mark. That would help. Um, that's our image. So that's what we just created. If we want the other brush that we just did, let's change it in percentage, 30%. Let's go to the cloud two. You can see what we're doing through here. So generative fill to use as creating a brush for ourselves. I think that'll be a good kind of technique for you to learn as well.